This bulletin is brought to you by Good Morning Vihalia. Enjoy the warmth and indulge in the deliciousness. Good morning, good morning. Salam sejahtera and good evening. I'm Prasad Michael and you're watching Kini Flash. BN and past parliamentarians staged a walkout yesterday to protest the appointment of Dewan Rakyat Speaker Muhammad Arif Muhammad Yusuf. And the incident didn't go unnoticed even by the young Dipertuan Agong. And this is what His Majesty Sultan Muhammad V said before making his opening speech in the new parliament session today. Tuan Yang Dipertua Dewan Rakyat, Tuan Yang Dipertua Dewan Negara dan Ahli-Ahli Yang Berhormat Sekalian, Sila duduk dan jangan lari. <laughs> Things outside the parliament compound weren't as joyful as UMNO Supreme Council member Lokman Nur Adam and 100 of his supporters gathered at a food court near Bukit Aman. They had initial plans to gather along Jalan Parliament at the junction leading to the Parliament building to await the arrival of the Yang Dipertuan Agung Sultan Muhammad V. Lokman said they only wanted to show their solidarity and give the Agung more support in the wake of alleged attacks against the monarchy. Things didn't go according to plan when the police stepped in. Remember the actress Ellie Suryati Omar? Maybe not from any of her films, but perhaps this will remind you. Well, she was at the rally too, where she called the Pakatan Harapan led federal government a dictatorship. Apabila jatuhnya seorang pemimpin Melayu beragama Islam dengan perang fitnah, maka rosaklah agama dan bangsa seperti yang berlaku di negara kita baru dua bulan pemerintahan. Kerana itu, saya tidak mencari publicity murah, saya bukan orang yang begitu. Ya? Dan saya marah kerana perpaduan negara yang terjalin aman di antara orang bangsa Melayu, India dan China telah rosak akibat perkara yang berlaku dalam pemerintahan sekarang. Saya bukan seorang yang resis. Apabila seorang Melayu mempertahankan bangsa dan agama, dia bukan seorang resis. Maka itu tidak wajar apabila yeah. bangsa China ataupun India mengatakan orang Melayu itu resis sama sekali tidak. Yeah. Kami dalam berbagai NGO, ada NGO bangsa Melayu, kita menegakkan agama dan bangsa yang sedang, sedang kucar kacir sekarang. Tetapi kita juga ada uh, CAM iaitu NGO berbilang bangsa dan saya juga ada dalam CAM. Mustahil saya seorang yang resis. Raja-raja yeah. Melayu adalah raja sebuah negara Malaysia iaitu raja berpelembagaan, demokrasi berpaling. 
Parlimen Raja Melayu milik semua bangsa Ya Maka itu kita mengangkat Raja-Raja Melayu kita dengan perasaan kasih dan sayang Kita tidak mahu sama sekali negara Malaysia ini dijadikan sebuah negara Republik tidak sama sekali Tuan, kalau Tuan tak bagi kita lalu Tuan nak jadikan Malaysia negara Republik Pakatan Harapan's cabinet is finally complete. Prasatwan Hindra of Malaysia Chief P. Weta Murthy has been sworn in as Minister in the Prime Minister's Department in charge of national unity and social well-being at the Istana Negara this evening. He was earlier sworn in as a senator together with seven others at the Dewan Negara. Four other senators were also sworn in as deputy ministers at the palace. They were DAP's Liu Chin Tong, Amanas Raja Kamarul Bahrain, Raja Ahmad and Bersatu's Muhammad Radzi Jidin and Marsuki Yahya. Liu was appointed as the Deputy Defence Minister. The other ministers are Raja Kamarul Bahrain, Housing and Local Government, Radzi, Economic Affairs and Marsuki, Foreign Affairs. Malaysia's first multi-grains brand. The champion is... Good Morning! UMNO Secretary General Anwar Musa has denied that the party's MPs had walked out of the Dewan Rakyat to protest Speaker Mohamed Arif's swearing-in ceremony yesterday. Instead, he said they left to address the press. That's right, according to Anwar, every opposition MP except Kairi Jamaluddin and Anifa Aman walked out because they wanted to speak to the media. I mean, of course, that makes sense. Anwar added that the party will not be taking disciplinary action against Kari for failing to join his party colleagues in leaving the chamber, as Amno practice an open policy towards actions by individual party members. The Qatari MP then went on to hint that Kari had not joined the walkout as he had been absent from the party's pre-council meeting on Sunday, where a response to the appointment of the Dewan Rakyat Speaker had been discussed. This is UMNO after all, so there's bound to be contradictory statements. UMNO Supreme Council member Tajuddin Abdul Rahman slammed Kairi for being disrespectful to UMNO by not joining the walkout protest in Parliament yesterday. Tajuddin told Malaysia Kini, quote, When you are a party member, you can have different opinions and stand on certain issues, but you have to abide by the decision of the party instead of sticking with your own personal decision. He then added, quote, just don't do it again. If he does, the party will not tolerate. Former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak claims that the price of goods and services could rise by 10 and 6% respectively with the implementation of the sales and services tax. Ada juga yang tukar macam harga kereta tapi umumnya harga-harga uh, yang uh, jadi kembarangan biasa rakyat tak turun malah ada yang naik. Jadi impak dan kesan uh, yang dijanjikan dalam manifesto Pakatan Harapan bahawa mereka akan kurangkan kos arah hidup tidak tercapai. Yang kedua, rakyat uh, rasa bimbang dan uh, rasa uh, curiga dengan langkah SST kerana dijangka bahawa harga akan naik kurang-kurangnya 10% dan 
6% sebagai minimum dan 16% daripada 10 bagi barangan dan 6 dalam bidang uh, perkhidmatan. Jadi kalau ini naik air ini beri kesan uh, kos kehidupan uh, naik maka orang putih sebuah double whammy lah uh, GST uh, pemansuhannya ataupun sifarnya tak beri kesan yang diharapkan dan tambah lagi dengan SST uh, maknanya beban pada rakyat akan uh, terus bertambah tidak kesampaian apa yang dijanjikan Prime Minister Dr Mahathir Mohamad in turn rubbish speculation that the sales and services tax will be 16% but as GST is a, a tax at source, so whether you buy or not, everything will go up in price. In case you missed it, Finance Minister Lim Guaning announced the SST rates yesterday. The reintroduction of SST, sales and services tax, rising crude oil prices and extra dividends from GLCs will bring in an extra 15 billion ringgit revenue for the federal government, government in 20. The SST at 10% will be reintroduced on September the 1st. And uh, we were expecting that these laws will be passed in this session of Parliament. And we should allow us to bring in a projected revenue of 4 billion. So we hope to call back 4 billion for the uh, last two months of the year. So if it's Past next month in August during the current parliamentary sitting, under the proposed bill, goods will incur a 10% tax, whilst the provision of services will be taxed at 6%. And this is the same rate as imposed previously. And that is all for me today. For more stories, go to kinetv.com. Please subscribe and share this video. I'm Brasad Michael. Thank you for watching.